All right, today I try and fix this guy. I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you see how this blade is much farther away than this blade? This is the arm that from the drone I crashed. That was my friend's. And you can see, of course, that right there. And there's some damage here. Because what happened was this guy got jammed up. And this blade was actually like way down here. And I just, you know, strength-wise, just, you know, manhandled it and pulled it back. But it still kind of touches, you know, at high wind. This will flex enough and touch. Plus, this guy, see how it's kind of facing straight forward? But when it's on, it turns to the left. And I read that the calibration could be off because of this. They're like, have you, because they asked like other people, like, did you sustain damage recently that may have, have this off? So since this is off, this might be trying to compensate and thinks it needs to be pointing towards this arm. So, that's where this guy comes in. This stress crack that was here it's a vert it's a vertical crack and I think what's going on is is every time I pull it back since this crack crack exists it's able to flex back all right so what I have now is my rubber mallet countering the weight of the two and a half pound here which is attached to the vice grips which is wrapped around the actual motor and the wood is there to keep it from pushing that whole end down because that's not what's needed to be done that end doesn't need to come down more the motor is what needs to just change its tilt and as you can see the angle of the blades they're at the right height but the problem is if i take this weight off it's going to flex back hopefully this will sit here long enough and the plastic will soften up enough and it will pull back to and stay in that position so looking at it it's almost even too late to show up outside and test the drone. We're gonna do that tomorrow. I didn't really get a good chance to look at it the other night. It did look like it had raised, and I put it away in its box, and uh, then it rained the next day, and so anyway, I took it out, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like it changed that much. It looks like it's still back right where it's about ready to touch. So I did all this damage for nothing it would seem. I don't really have $75 right now to buy a new shell but what I'm going to do but the thing is, is like it flies a fine as long as it's not really heavy wind so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go take it outside because the only other thing else to do is to take the gimbal off of like the whole apparatus off. Alright so I've calibrated everything but you can still see look just look at this motor see how it's off how it's pointing to the left when it should be like right here but that's it so that's the problem okay. right, let's see how close it gets yeah that's the problem right there
Seems like nothing worked. So it flies fine. I mean, in high winds there's a problem. But my biggest pet peeve is the gimbal because I use this thing to you know, create beautiful shots and things like that. And if my gimbal is off, looking slightly left and not straight, it's gonna make it difficult for me to make good, interesting shots like I have in the past. So, I'm wondering, do I try and take the gimbal apart slightly and repair it? Or do I do something else? I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this vlog. <laughs>